Jets going inside. The running Jets out of Shot on goal. A game winner for the Cavs. A walk-off three-run shot from David Adams. Feeds right on the cutback door. Up to the this. first layup. A shot. Billy Wade the score. Cavaliers start the offense behind the cage. Up the left pipe. Rubio spins and scores. Rostad is free. She scores. 10-5 on his feet. Touchdown. Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery. The Virginia Lottery, helping Virginia's public schools. And brought to you in part by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, presented by the Virginia Lottery. The offense uh, tonight flowed nicely, a lot better than it did last night. Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Antonio Albee, number 58 from the Virginia football team. On today's show, I'll be joined with my teammate Staten Joe as we introduce our features and game scores from Jacksonville, Florida, and the Gator Bowl. But first, let's start with our play of the week. The play of the week is brought to you by SunTrust Mortgage. We make the American dream come true every day. Neil Sewell from the four-yard line. Still in the end zone out of the shotgun. They give it to Michael. Michael, 5'10", 15, broke it. 20, 25, 30, near side, 40, 50-yard line, 40, Michael, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, to the house. Wow. We knew coming into the game that um, we can um, pull off big runs. We've seen um, other teams have successful with it uh, during the year. And um, we had a key block downfield by the receivers, and um, the linemen did a good job opening it up. I was running with them. At first, it looked like they were close to him, but I looked at the replay and it had at least five yards of separation between the two. And uh, he's got the wheels. He's really got the wheels, and I, it's just a great thing to see him be able to use them. Stay tuned. Virginia game highlights are coming up next. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Staten Job, and yes, both my dad and my brother played wide receiver for Texas Tech, and my mom was a cheerleader for the Red Raiders. But on New Year's Day in Jacksonville, everyone in my family was a Cavalier. So here's the Gator Bowl story, our game against Texas Tech. The Cavalier Game Highlights are presented by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Texas Tech right to left on offense and four wide. It's a quick over the middle catch. 25, 30, 35 yard line and out to the 39 yard line. Graham Harrell, four wide. Two left, two right with a running back out of the shotgun. They set up the inside screen and a catch. Crabtree, they want him involved at the 40. Crabtree gets the block he needs. 35 and he is horse collared out of bounds at the Virginia 29 yard line. Cavs inching up a linebacker. Harrell to throw. Over the middle has got a man. Touchdown, Detron Lewis. Detron on a slant, nobody touched him, and that was too easy. Touchdown, Texas Tech, six nothing. This goal, we had to come and you know fire right back because they, you know, they have chances to you know pull away with their high powered offers that they have, and uh, just everybody bought in and knew what we had to get done. And basically, just everybody made plays in that whole series. Uh, a lot of people touched the ball, and everyone, each one of them, made a play when they had the opportunity to. It was Jamil Sewell, 12 yards on the scamper, first down, Cavs. Cavs are going to operate out of the shotgun and a goal line snap. And Sewell wants to throw the pass. New play. Touchdown. Oh, they found the tight end. Sneak it over the middle. John Stupar. Touchdown, Virginia. I've been chosen when Tim Tebow, you know, made that famous. And um, we just knew we were going to be able to get that play because of the way they were playing. They know we were going to win the power on the goal line. That's a bread and butter play. So basically, we just took advantage of the safeties coming down hard and let Stupar just slip through out behind them and uh, wide open. Play fake, Harold to throw, under pressure, Cavs chasing, and he is going to throw the ball at the goal line, it's going to be grounding. 
Nate Collins. Nobody blocked Nate, and he got to Graham Harrell for the sack. It results in a safety because they got him back in the goal line and a safety by Virginia's defense. With the whole world watching, the whole country watching, I'm glad a young guy like Nate Collins gets some recognition. I hope, uh, I hope they know, you know, how good of a player he is, and, and I'm, I'm his biggest fan. Jamil Sewell from the four-yard line, still in the end zone out of the shotgun. They give it to Michael. Michael, 5'10", 15, broke it, 20, 25, 30, near side, 40, 50-yard line, 40, Michael, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, to the house. Wow. We knew coming into the game now um, we can um, pull up big runs. We've seen um, other teams have a successful with it uh, during the year, and um, we had uh, key blocks downfield by the receivers, and um, the linemen did a good job opening it up. I was running with them at first. It looked like they were close to him, but I looked at the replay and it had at least five yards of separation between the two. And uh, he's got the wheels. He's really got the wheels, and it's just a great thing to see him be able to use them. He's standing at his goal line. Snap good and in his end zone to throw. Now being pressured. Now being tackled. He threw the ball again. All right. And it's going to be another intentional grounding and another two points. Clint, you know, he's, he's going to be. Guys like him, it's his team next year, so him making plays like this, you know, it's, it's just going to continue. Two wide left for Sewell, and he's going to fake the screen right, goes back left, 40, 45, and to the 50-yard line, and they get the ball in the hands of their playmaker, Jameel Sewell under center. The offset eye, two wide right side. Jameel dropped the snap, throw back screen. Oh, yes. oh they've got it to Albert, 20, to the 15-yard <laughs> line and out of bounds. Snap back. Ball down. The kick is up. It is good. Three points on the board. The Cavs run out the clock. They get three before the half. And a very impressive half by Virginia. The Red Raiders with the white uniforms. And they fake a pooch kick. Oh, trying for an onside kick. The ball loose. And Texas Tech got it. 42-yard line. Uh, last practice, I guess, Sunday, Jeff, that our, our, our 10-minute special team period was, was nothing but uh, fakes, onside kicks. Um, reverses on kickoffs, you know, what was none of the standard plays. It was all those plays here. So we were well aware of the fact that uh, that's part of Texas Tech's very aggressive repertoire, and uh, they just executed the play better than we did. Harrell will run a screen to the outside, and Britton the catch 40 to the 41-42 yard line, and Virginia covers it well, and he might have dropped the football to the Cavs, have it. Virginia might have gotten it right back. The, the officials, officials are, not- are acting like that's not the case. Whatever it was, they said it was a, not a challengeable play. Obviously, I had some intense emotions at the moment, so I'm trying to think back to it. But, you know, what we saw was, was a ball that came out, and the team that fumbled the ball did get it. Okay, The team that recovered the ball didn't get it, so you all can assess what that meant to the game. And Graham Harrell looking to throw. Stays in a pocket. Throws far side. Man open. Catch. Touchdown. Amandalo. To right with a running back. He'll put everybody in a pattern. Stays in a pocket. Throws. He's got a man wide open. 35. 40. Breaks a tackle. Oh, the ball. The ball is loose. It's on oh, the ground. No. Oh, my goodness. Texas Tech. Virginia going after it at the yes, 50. Virginia. The Cavaliers got it back. The Cavs finally, after a scramble for the ball, Virginia comes up with a recovery. Out of the shotgun. Jamil Two wide right. Jamil calls his own number. Sewell in a, just a swarm of white jerseys and he moves it to the 41 yard line and gets the first down carried him off the field no weight at all on that left knee and peter lalek will make his eighth appearance the freshman peter lalek is your quarterback two wide michael simpson the running back lalek dropping back to throw sets up the screen 10 to the five touchdown touchdown michael simpson screen pass left a uh, great drive it was basically all the old linemen it was uh the screen play i just had to flip it out to michael and he just took it in the Virginia defense holds there. This could be a big play. Graham Harrell, two left, two right. Running back next to him. It's been their formation all day. Harrell to throw. Looking at a streak, throwing down far sideline. It's going to be incomplete at the 22-yard oh, line. Oh, no! They're going to call interference. So Harrell goes under his center. Harrell to throw. Harrell drops back. Harrell looking for an opening. Puts it up in the end zone, and it's going to be knocked away. Incomplete. Razai Dowling makes the play. He had one-on-one coverage with Crabtree. Trips to the right. And one receiver up top, the Cavs, press coverage. Harrell looking to throw, downfield throws. He's got Amandola the catch, and he falls forward 20-yard line. 3.39 to play. 
Harrell, shotgun, two left, two right. Looking goal line, looking in zone, throws, and it's going to be caught. Yes, Crabtree, penalty flag down. We thought he was pretty good, and obviously he was very good for their team today, and, and so we certainly tip our hat to him. Two wide left, Lollick. And Lolly will drop back. They come after him. Okay. And he threw the ball in a crowd. And he's not the official. The, the officials are saying it might be a fumble and Texas Tech may have the ball. You got to hold on to the ball. I should have uh, probably uh, ate it and took a sack at that point. Uh, we had a fairly safe play call. We had a screen pass to the left over there. You know, you figure that that's, that, that's pretty safe. You don't see too many guys get sacked on screen passes. And um, unfortunately, um, we didn't get a very good execution at one position, and the player came scot-free before the ball could be thrown. So Harrell calling for the ball out of the shotgun. They give it to Crawford. Crawford, misdirection, touchdown. So the Cavs out of the shotgun and Sewell to throw. Sewell now wants to take off. Sewell to run for the first down at the 25. Sewell is going to be hit and stopped shy of the 30-yard line, well short of the first down. He needed the 34. Kobe Lewis will be the running back, and he is going to throw. Stays in the pocket. Ah. Offensive line giving him time. He's got a man complete. Lewis, 30 out of the backfield, 20. 24-yard line with 16 with 15 seconds. <laughs> Snap back. Ball down. The kick is up. It is long enough. It is good. Those players leave with us having the greatest of affection and the greatest of respect for what they put in it to make this team what it was. It's just... Uh, Tugs at your heart for some of them not not to get what they so dearly wanted here today and for it to have happened the way that it did. What hurts the most is uh, looking around and seeing how disappointed my teammates are. Um, you know, I have no regrets. You know, uh, as, as a player, uh, I've worked very hard and um, just tried to be the best teammate I could today and, and throughout my career. And I think I speak for the entire senior class when I say, you know, we're not going to hang our heads. You know, we're down right now. It does feel like somebody kicked us in the stomach, but, but uh, you know, we're just proud to be a part of this team. While we were in Jacksonville, our men's basketball team faced Hartford at home on Sunday, then traveled to Cincinnati for a tough game versus Xavier on January 3rd. Let's check out the highlights. Joseph Deshaun, Singletary to the offense in a hurry, got bumped, swings it low, and the layup by Scott. Just a little two hands over the side of the rim. He could have may have slammed it home, but it's a 4-0 run. A top of the key, Jeff Jones sends it left. Singletary ball fake in the corner. Joseph, the open three, book it. We've played a lot of zone, against a lot of zone. You know, you can pick and choose a game where we've looked flat, and you can, you know, we can come back and say a game we look very good at. It. I mean, we could face man, zone, pressure, whatever, and be real good at it or not so good at it. Depend, I think it depends more on us. Baker left hand, ball fake Diani. He'll try to overload that side. Baker will pull for the three. Got a good look. Bingo. Knocked yeah. it down. David Bookman had the ball stripped. Cavs coming back. Baker. Baker one against three. Got by everybody. Layup there by Calvin. He took it right to the rack. Pretty yeah. play. I could say, boy, I'm real, I'm real worried because because our team's not that good. But I've seen us, and we've done that in games where teams performed at a very high level, and and it's happened with consistency in practices. Then there have been you know practices that we string together that we're not very good, and games that we showed that we you know like tonight where we're not we don't perform at a high level. So if we're not consistent or don't become consistent, then somebody else is going to take control of that for us. Just inside the arc, and Singletary starts the Cavs, and we're tied 2-2. Obviously, when you have a uh, recipe for disaster, then a train wreck happens, and that's what uh, tonight was about. A team that was very good and very ready against a team that was not very ready, and right now is not very good. Left on the shot clock, Burrell got by his man, kicks in the corner, waiting for it all alone, jumper three, good. And that was Dante Jackson. You know, I've always said that you, you can't control night in and night out if the ball goes in the basket or not, but you can control for the other team 
shots go in or not. And uh, and we violated that from the first play where <clears throat> we worked on certain things coming into the game that, that we had to do. First play, we gave up a dunk. Uh, and uh, all five guys were in violation of where they needed to be and continued on from there. Side. Singletary in the front court. Sean's got the opening, goes down the lane, inside, layup, good. Lavender off the screen. They edge on him, crossover against Singletary. I think the difficulty is when you have a guy like Lavender that is so willing to get everybody involved that, uh, you know, he puts a lot of pressure on your defense. But, you know, again, he was, he was good, his teammates were good, and we were very bad. Feeds it to the right side, Diani. Diani to AJ for the three off the rim, no good. Cavs have yet to knock down a three. They're over six. Right back. Lavender runs the floor. Layup good. Lavender up on the right side. Single turn to switch on defense. They hedge. Lavender gets the opening he wants for three. Book it. Oh my goodness. 41 17. Coming up after the break. 41 31. Monica Wright driving hard with the left hand. Loop through the lane. A quick move from Monica Wright. Our women's basketball team hosted the Marriott Cavalier Classic at the John Paul Jones Arena last week. Let's check out the highlights. The Olympic Sports Spotlight is presented by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. I got cut off, goes to Mohammed at the right elbow, driving hard, and her left hand layup is good. So Mohammed on the penetration, if that's a guard, is probably going to get low to block that, the box out. And they get it to a cutting lender off the inbounds on the left block, and she scores with a two-hand layup. As Cavs will move the basketball, Monica takes a deep three for 25 feet. Right now. We were in a rhythm offensively. Defensively, we played really well. Um, they kept it in the game. Uh, for the first half, and then the second half we came in and just really stepped it up a notch. And that's good to see because usually we start off slow in the second half. So we came out with a lot of energy and played well. 12 on the shot clock as she gets it to Monica right high. Back to zone on the left wing for three. Oh, baby! They get it into Robertson. Back to zone for three from the left side. Good again! The shot is there. Two of three from behind the line. The offense uh, tonight flowed nicely, a lot better than it did last night. Uh, we opened it up a little bit by hitting a few threes in the second half, which helps a lot all the time. Um, and, and we had some players come off the bench and really perform extremely well tonight, and I was very proud of them. 56 to 39, Virginia by 17, right deep in the lane, will pull up from about nine and flash it home. A soft shot for Monica. Gets it to the right block to Mohammed, who's doubled back out to right for three from the right side, good again. Rubbing right off the middle screen, drive and pitch to Milner, step in, three ball, got it. What a game for Brittany Milner, Myron off the Cavalier bench. I knew that it was just a matter of, we just had two days to practice, we didn't scrimmage much because we had a game coming, so we had we didn't have any timing, we didn't have our timing, we didn't have our rhythm. And we got it back and I knew we would be fine. Monica Wright driving hard with the left hand, swoops through the lane, a quick move from Monica Wright. I'm Antonio Yalabi, and thank you for watching the Caliber Sports Weekly. We'll be back next weekend with more basketball highlights and plenty of great stories. But until then, go Hoos. Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery. The Virginia Lottery, helping Virginia's public schools. And brought to you in part by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.